<laughs> it's a bit parky. Good morning, guys. As you can see, I've come out this morning. It is the morning. It's about 9.30 now, Monday morning. And as you can probably see, we've had a rather unexpected fall of snow uh, Saturday evening. It's still here now, Monday morning. We've had a little bit of snow melt, which concerns me, but I thought I'd come out, just do a little bit of chub fishing for a couple of hours this morning, just see if we can't catch a chub in the snow. That's the plan. I'm, I'm hoping for one bite, really. I've come to a stretch that I fished not too long ago, um, and I fished it a couple of times. I do fish it fairly regularly in the winter, so I know some likely spots, and that's going to be the key today. I think the key is going to be location. We're going to need to drop the bait on the nose of a fish, uh, to get a bite, I think it's, the water is going to be very, very cold, and it's, the temperatures are plummeting in the water. It's a lot of snow melt going in, and it's frozen again overnight, so yeah, it's going to be pretty cold. But hopefully, as I say, a bit of, bit of local knowledge will 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 get us a fish out. It's a, it's a very small river; it's tributary of the Avon, and uh, there's not going to be anything huge. But if we catch a three pound chub, that'll be that'll be a decent one, to be honest. But uh, in these conditions settle for anything <laughs> right i'm gonna get properly kitted up and then we'll get down there <laughs> so guys if we, things weren't going to be hard enough this river is crystal clear <laughs> it's it's as clear as i have ever seen it we're gonna really struggle i think today <laughs> we'll give it a couple of hours It'd be worth it to get a snow chub if we do get one. <laughs> well, I am here more in hope than expectation. Right. I haven't run into gear and bait, have I? Gear. My Dower Power Mesh S2. Pan and a quarter test curve, 12 foot rod. Quiver tip section in. The top is a twin tip. I've got the quiver tip section in, of course. Hi, Dower 20 GSB RLT 3000 reel. I've got some Matrix sinking mono on. I'll put all the details of all this gear down below so you can go and have a look at, at your leisure. I've got my standard running ledger rig on here. I'll direct you to a video. Let's go and see how I tie this up. Stick a link up there, you can go and have a look. And if you're on a platform that doesn't do cards, I'll, uh, I'll put it in description as well. Right, the bait today, there's only one bait in these conditions, in my eyes, and that is bread. Bit more confident as well, since the river is so clear. A bit more confident of a bite than I would be if it was a bit more coloured. So that's not a bad thing. All I've done, I've got some mashed bread there, as you can see. Just mashed up by hand, wetted a little bit, mashed up by hand. I'm gonna put it through this tiny little feeder. I've got some of these little Preston feeders. Again, I'll put the info down the, underneath in the description so you can have a look. But really, the idea is I'm just going to get a little bit of mashed bread in here. Hopefully drop it on the nose of a chub and he won't be able to resist a bit of bread flake that's behind it. That's the plan. Hopefully, we can find at least one fish <laughs> that's got something of an appetite. <laughs> Hopefully. Right. We've got some Warburton's. Not, not King's Mill 50-50, that's just a bag. <laughs> got some Warburton's to go on the hook. This stuff's been in my car all night and it's a bit frozen. <laughs> oh, it's cold. I've, um, I don't think I've worn this many clothes for a very long time. <laughs> Absolutely wrapped up. Right. Let's try and winkle out a chub. I think we'll give each swim 10 or 15 minutes. Not long at all, we don't need long. If we're gonna get a bite, I think 10 or 15 minutes and we'll know. Cross your fingers and your toes. 
I'm not going to expect, as I say, I'm going to hope. But we're nice and wrapped up. So we'll be all right, we'll be all right. So I'm not going to. I'm not going to leave the casts very long. Feed are empty relatively quickly, so we don't need to to leave the casts very long. There's not too much flow in here because it's very low, as I say. But we'll fish some swims that I know hold chub. This, these sort of conditions are not the conditions to go <laughs> exploring in. <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> These are the conditions to nut, to fish the swims that you've learnt about previously. On previous trips. Right, that's a bit better. Find the cover. Now I remembered this swim. Maybe our best bet today with this water clarity. This river, just to put you in a picture, this river never clears. This is the clearest I've ever seen it. Which is not great at all. <laughs> Unfortunately. Fortunately, we have got a very overcast day. It's sort of drizzling with snow a little bit. Which is not a bad thing. But in this peg, we've got, as you can see over there, we've got a, um, a raft under that tree. I've not gone too close, obviously. I don't want to disturb the fish. I'm trying to be as stealthy as possible whilst feeling like the Michelin man. So wrapped up. Aside from cold hands, I'm, I'm all right. I should have put some gloves on really, but I don't think I own any. That's <laughs> trouble. <laughs> right. Now this may, this may be our best bet today. Clear river and a big raft. So I think we'll probably spend 20 minutes in here at least. Getting a bit of bait in through this feeder. There's a bit of depth under there as well, I know from experience. So we'll swing this. Oh, well that's a good start. We managed to catch a, a bit of the raft. Ah, there we go. Right, come on. Yeah, the feeder went in beautifully, but the, the bit of bread just caught on a, an old reed stem. It's making it part of that. Stuff. That's better. There we go. There we go. Right. Hopefully. Hopefully we can winkle some out of here. Like I say, this is probably our best bet this swim, which is why I walked up here. Bit of a trek from the last one. I'll put a few bits of bread in as well. Just trickle a little bit in every couple of minutes. A swim not too far downstream as well, I'd like to try. So we'll perhaps give it 20 minutes in here. And we're going to move down to that one and perhaps come back here. See how, how it responds to being left if we don't get anything straight away. I'm more in favour of getting my bait in first though, to be honest, in these conditions. You know, if there's a chub down there and it's just going to take one bit of bread, I want it to be the bit on the hook. Well, I'm going to change over to the smaller feeder, I think. Not because I want less feed to go in particularly, but it will just make a, a much more subtle little plop into the water. It's making a bit of a big, bit of a big splash. <laughs> it's, it's very still here, very calm. The only thing making any disturbance is the sheep. It bank. So I don't think that feeder plopping in loudly is going to do any good. 
So we'll go with a really small one. Literally just cast it in, hadn't I? Can't believe it. It doesn't feel very chubby. What's this? I hope it's not a pike. It looked a bit pikey when it came to the top then. It's a chub. It's a chub. Wow. <laughs> came to the top and splashed and it looked like a pike. <laughs> I saw a bit of green. Oh, we're going to get him in. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> oh, we got him. We got one. <laughs> wow. Absolutely wow. Brilliant. Oh, that's wonderful. So pleased. <laughs> oh, fantastic. <laughs> well, I thought this one would be our best bet. It's turned out that way. Well, he must have grabbed that <laughs> as it was just dropping. <laughs> How's about that? Wonderful stuff. Snow chub. <laughs> After cracking. Really pleased. Absolutely over the moon. <laughs> so, I've got him in the net down here. Is this uh, happy? Well, perhaps not happy, but <laughs> it'll be okay. We'll just see. We can't winkle another one out here. But to be honest, I'm happy chappy after that. I thought we'd struggle for a bite. But uh, as I was saying earlier, you know, it's not a day for exploring. I thought local knowledge might be a real benefit today. And so it's proven. I'd like to do the water temperature. But um, I've just got my thermometer out. It seems the batteries have died in the cold weather. <laughs> oh dear. Never mind. As I say, perhaps we can have another one. I can't imagine he's down there on his own. But I can imagine that he's, uh, his mates have all scarpered. But we'll see. Worth ten minutes finding out. Definitely worth another ten minutes in here. I mean it's very chubby, isn't it? That that snag, you can probably see that snag down there. It's a very, very chubby sort of peg. Sort of place you'd expect to find them. Although that raft appeared in the last floods we had a week or a couple of weeks ago. It used to be just a bit of an overhang from that tree. And all the stuff has uh, gathered around it, all the old reeds and stuff have gathered around it. As I say in the last floods. A little bit of depth in this swim as well compared to a lot of the stretch. That's just perfect for them. Overhanging tree, now a raft and some depth. I mean, it's just a perfect swim. Although whether we get another one out is another story. Right, now this swim, this swim, this swim I owe a bit of revenge to. This was the one a few videos ago when I was trotting here that I lost two fish. Goodness knows how. Two fish had them come off. I have no idea why. Just down in here, There's a bit of depth to it. 
so definitely worth a few minutes in here. There's not really any cover in here, unfortunately. Perhaps try up by that bush you can see over there. What I found last time was that the chub would just sat just in in this pool here, just down there. Yeah, a bit of depth to it and it donks down. There's a bit of, a bit of fast water above, as you can see. And then just sort of slows up a bit. There's a bit of a, a dip in there. It obviously gets scoured out when the floods come. Well, worth giving this 20 minutes, I think. I know for a fact a few week or so ago there was some fish in here. Very different at the moment though, clearly. Different conditions, I mean. The water's clearer as well, which is not great at all. But you never know. Again, a little bit of knowledge. Got a bit of a good scrap. No monster at all. Of course, trying to get under my feet. <laughs> Come on, it. Well, one of the ones I would imagine <laughs> that I lost a week or so ago. <laughs> well, look at that. I've been casting more than about a minute. <laughs> Let him get his breath and have a quick look at him. Wonderful. There we go. Let's get the pointy bit safe. I'll have a quick look at him. <laughs> As I say, no monster at all and absolutely like a block of ice. <laughs> but number two. <laughs> number two in the snow. Right, he's very lively. We're not going to not going to hold him up for very long, but we will get him in there, nice and safe. Oh my goodness, God! God, oh, that's water's cold. Oh, like me. God, so I could do the temperature. God. Oh. Well, another one so quickly as well like i say it's just this time of year you need that knowledge you need to know where to find a the fish they're certainly not going to find you i looked down and i sort of looked back up and i thought the tip would uh, was twitch but like, like they always do it's always the case isn't it as soon as you look away the tip goes <laughs> twitches and I, I looked back at it and it, i thought that's just moved Well, I can't imagine a chub of that size is, is down there on his own. And chub are a bit cute, aren't they? But when they're uh, when they're that size, perhaps not quite so clever. So maybe we'll maybe we'll have another one. I know in these sort of conditions, a lot of people would be perhaps reaching for the uh, the cheese paste. Absolutely love bread. I think what gives bread the edge. Just, just my opinion. But what gives bread the edge for me is the movement. You know, I could chuck some cheese paste out there, and that's great. It's a lump of cheese paste on the bottom. You know, perhaps if you've made it waft a little bit, it will be just sitting on the bottom with the weight of the hook. But with bread, it's there, and it's it's wafting around in the flow. I think it's that movement a lot of the time. 
this gets you those extra bites and it'll, it'll get you a bite when it's really hard just that movement the fish haven't got to sort of sniff it out and go and find the bait it's there it's right in their faces it's so easy for them to just grab it almost like lure fishing i'll call it lure fishing with bread to be honest <laughs> It's wafting around in the flow. Because when I make my flake up, it doesn't sink straight away. So when I cast it in, it will sort of be up like a flag a little bit, fluttering around in the current. <laughs> Talking about fluttering around in the current. This fella's trying to leave me. Five minutes, mate. <laughs> it's not a lot doing in here now. We haven't had anything else since we had him. So I would imagine we've, uh, we've upset them all. Either that or he's, he's the only one down there, or perhaps the only one that's hungry. One more cast. No, that's it. Nothing doing. Time to call it a day. We've had two, two and a half hours at it. And, uh, a couple of chubs, so I'm very happy with that and the conditions. And uh, more so the conditions of the river, to be honest. But yeah, not been the easiest conditions, obviously, but uh, very happy to have caught a couple of chub in that. And uh, especially given the clarity of this river, I can't get over it. I've never seen it this clear before running this low and clear i think i mentioned earlier in the summer it's uh it's not even this clear so yeah not great at all and when we found the slope with slightly deep, lead deeper areas and a bit of cover we uh we had those couple of fish out so that's fab now i shall be getting out again later in the week i'm not sure exactly when we'll have to see what the weather brings when this snow melts it's all going to be a bit rubbish to be honest so i shall avoid that I might try and get out again perhaps before it melts or we'll leave it a couple of days till a couple of days after it melts but uh, we'll have to just suck it and see but for now thank you very much for watching hope you enjoyed that a bit of a winter wonderland <laughs> tight lines enjoy your own angling when you get out there hopefully you'll get some bites many thanks to the channel patrons for your fantastic support and i'll see you all again very soon